O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Behold the standard of the King. The cross gleams forth its mystery. On it the Son of God as man atoned on earth for sinners all. His side was pierced by cruel lands that drew out water with his blood to cleanse our souls from every stain and nourish them with his pure stream. O tree that shines with beauty rare, ennobled by Christ's precious blood, he shows you as the royal bed to rest his sacred limbs in death. O blessed were your rugged arms from which the whole world's ransom hung. You bore the weight of sacrifice that snatched from greedy hell its prey. Hail, holy altar, victim, hail, for all the glory of that cross, by which life chose and welcomed death as dying gave us life once more. Hail, holy cross, our only hope, wash all our guilt and crimes away, increase our grace while we adore, in honor of your victory. Let every soul sing in your praise, salvation's font, O Trinity. Forever cherish those redeemed through that great mystery, the cross. Amen. Look well, all you peoples, and see my suffering. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? This cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill. Before all his people, O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill. 
before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Look well, all you peoples, and see my suffering. My soul is in anguish. My heart is in torment. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment. For no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness. Like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer. For my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face. Lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O oh Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. My soul is in anguish. My heart is in torment. When Jesus had taken the vinegar, he said, It is accomplished. Then he bowed his head and died. Though he was 
was in the form of God. Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave. Being born in the likeness of men, he was known to be of human estate. And it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every other name. So that at Jesus' name every knee must bend In the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth And every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father Jesus Christ is Lord Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. When Jesus had taken the vinegar he said, it is accomplished. Then he bowed his head and died. Christ suffered for you and left you an example to have you follow in his footsteps. He did no wrong. No deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he was made to suffer, he did not counter with threats. Instead, he delivered himself up to the one who judges justly. In his own body, he brought your sins to the cross so that all of us, dead to sin, could live in accord with God's will. By his wounds, you were healed. For our sake Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. For our sake Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. When we were his enemies, God reconciled us to himself. By the death of his Son, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, in every generation. He has shown the strength of his own. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now. And will be forever. Amen. When we were his enemies, God reconciled us to himself by the death of his Son. Today we lovingly remember the death of our Lord Jesus Christ from which was born new life for the whole world. Let us turn to God the Father and say, By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Hear us, O Lord, give unity to your Church. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Protect Benedict, our Pope. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Sanctify your people, both clergy and faithful by your Spirit. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Increase faith and understanding in those under instruction. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Gather all Christians in unity. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Lead the Jewish people to the fullness of redemption. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Enlighten with your glory those who do not yet believe in Christ. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Show the marks of your love in creation to those who deny them. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Guide the minds and hearts of those who govern us. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Console all who, who are troubled. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Hear us, O Lord, console all who are troubled. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Hear us, O Lord, have pity on those who have died. By the merits of your Son's death, hear us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, look with love upon your people, the love which our Lord Jesus Christ showed us when he delivered himself to evil men and suffered the agony of the cross. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.